eat it way out there. Booyah! Oh, it's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. Wow. That's super, super healthy. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another video. We have a very special one today. Before we begin, I just want to thank everyone for liking and subscribing. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click that subscribe button. Definitely supports the channel here. Without further ado, the Battle of the Metanium DCs. Two stellar reels, nine years apart, the 2015 and the 2024. We're gonna break it down. Let's get on the water. Everyone back on the water. Gonna be doing the Metanium DC test here. I got the old one here. After a couple casts with this one, we're gonna try a new one and compare the two. Let's check it out. And to kind of get it an equal comparison, we're going to toss it on the exact same setup. We have the Poison Adrena here, as you've been seeing in a lot of the videos. Uh, we have same line, 15 pound red label for carbon. And we're going to be throwing the same lure. This is the Mega Bass Ooze Swimmer. So exact same everything. Only thing that would be changing is the reel. And I did that because I wanted to make sure it's the most fair comparison uh, between the 2015 and the 2024. So let's... Do a cast here. So first thing I notice after fishing my 2024 for several days is that this reel, you can hear more of the non-DC stuff. And so it's just a little bit more mechanical. You hear it more. The spool, you can hear the spool go a little bit more. That's one thing I notice the difference. Now that cast was really good, and to be honest, I feel like that I'm getting the same results in terms of casting distance on the 2024 um, Metamium DC. I don't think I'm getting any different. Let's try that again. I mean, I'm pretty much getting the same thing like I would if I was casting my 2024. So, in terms of casting distance, it's relatively the same, but it's more of the the smoothness that makes it a big difference so i don't know if you can hear it too you can kind of hear right now but you could just you feel the gears a little bit more and you can hear the gears a little bit more so that's a big difference too as well the other thing we can notice too is just a little, how much wider this reel is compared to the 2024 2024 is just a lot more compact let's give me another cast here if these geese go by. So you can hear the spool a little bit more. Um, at least that's what I've noticed so far. But in terms of casting, this thing is still great. The, 20, the 2015 Titanium is still a great reel. I mean, I just forgot how awesome this reel is still since I've been fishing the other ones. Let's see here. Uh, in terms of the settings right now, I have it set at two. So there's a couple different settings. There's the open, of course, to open the side plate, but we're not gonna do that. There's the one setting, which is the, the least amount of setting. Two, which is what I have it now. Three, for the most amount of braking. And then an auto. So let's go with the two, because that's what I've been doing. I think that's probably the best bet for casting and that was uh without them in the spool so still a phenomenal reel i would still i'm still going to use this reel obviously it's still great i don't think it's um, anything different in terms of actual casting distance i think it's relatively the same now the big thing too to, to note is that this is this spool holds more line so if you're looking for a reel that holds a little bit more line um the 2020 from Metanium DC is probably not your go-to, but you still get a good amount of line on the new one. So there's nothing to say otherwise that you can't fish, you know, all types of different uh, styles with, this, with the new one. You can, and I've done it. 
Um, I've thrown jerk baits, square bills, Ned rigs, um, jigs, and then half ounce blue swimmer. And you've seen a couple of catches on uh, my videos so far. And it does a really good job. Really good job. I think I think it is a really good point. And first, I didn't really like it just being a 70 size pool. But after fishing it, I can see why they did that. Would I like to see a 150? Yes. But 70 is... The, the 70 on the Metanium 2024 is a great, is great so far. So casting wise, great distance is really good. Um, it's still pretty lightweight, but I do notice it's a tad bit heavier than the 2024 and just a little bit wider. Um, but I still really like this reel. This is a darn good reel still. So first initial thoughts on casting this compared to the new one. Let's go ahead and clip off the ooze and put on the 2024 Metanium. We got the new Metanium DC. This is the 2024. Same exact setup here. Poison Adrena 15 pound test for carbon red label. Same exact spool actually because I got a huge thousand line spool. Same exact lure. Mega Bass Ooze Swimmer. Same exact one. Not changing anything. And let's make a cast. All right, that was the first, first cast at it. So, casting distance seemed the same. Oh, I see it wrapped around the line keeper there. But in terms of casting distance, it's pretty much the same. I don't know if you can hear it, but I don't hear the gears. I hear the line going in the spool, but that's normal. But I'm not hearing any of the gears touching Think that's something that i really like about this new metanium is that silky smooth like really smooth let's make another cast here and if you can also notice what i talked about earlier you don't hear the spool the inertia of the spool go you just hear the dc line which is awesome you know when you're whipping it let's just like any like a um, any reel, you kind of hear that inertia. You don't hear that with this reel. It's silky, silky smooth. Quiet too. Even with the 70s pool, I'm still able to get the same amount of casting distance out there. Let's get another cast in. Hey, externals got three different break uh three different line settings and then it's got different dials so one two three four five so five different brake settings so you, you really have a lot of different uh ways to adjust it versus the 2015 you just kind of have those four or i should say five settings and you have the the a at the end so a little bit more adjustability especially if you want to use braid floral whatever you can kind of change it up with changing the brexit the brake setting no fluff whatsoever just amazing man these reels are phenomenal <laughs> there isn't anything that the 2015 maintainium can't do that the 2024 is doing it's pretty much mechanically the same i feel like in terms of casting I just, from, you know, you, from using the ones back to back, I can notice that the 2024 is a lot smoother, quieter, lighter, and just palms a little bit better because it's not as wide as the 2015. So if you are contemplating on, you know, hey, upgrading, you know, and you're asking, is it worth the upgrade? To my opinion, the 2015 is a great option still. But if you want just a little bit better, feel free to kind of invest some money into it. But I don't know if you hear this. This is just silky smooth. The only thing you hear is just the line going onto the spool. You don't hear anything else. seen a couple of fish catches on this and you can see how smooth the drag is too on this reel it's phenomenal it's 
great reel overall, man. Just a phenomenal reel overall. Shimano did a really good job on this one. A lot smoother, a lot lighter. It took them nine years. Is it worth the nine year difference? I don't know. I don't really think so. I wish they would have came out with an updated one sooner. But I understand they came up with the, the Metanium B first. Then they kind of took the body of the Metanium B and put the updated new DC into it. So I can understand why they did that. But I kind of wish they would have done it a little bit sooner. But that's fishing, right? You know, some most of the Shimano reels, they take like three, four years to do an upgrade. They took nine years. <laughs> so that's a, a long, long time to wait. Um, between two generations. It's kind of like the foreigner of vehicles. They just took a boatload of years to change it. And rightfully so, if, in order for them to change it, they had to make it better, right? Or else what's the point of changing it? And I think they did just that with this reel. They did just that. But I'm gonna love fishing both of these reels this year, especially the new 2024 routine which I've been using like almost every day just been picking this set up <laughs> and running with it it's it balances so well it's so light it just looks awesome too as well just super light sensitive does a phenomenal job and I can throw pretty much anything from a quarter ounce to half ounce really easily so that I can this is a really great all-purpose setup here you know, like I said, even if it is a 70 size spool, you don't, you don't even notice that. It's 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 so it holds a good amount of line, and I don't think there's any way that you can cast this entire spool out, anyways. And so you're still getting a lot of a lot of line on here. So my final opinions, and we're gonna go to the table talk here in a short second. Well, so my final opinions, we're going to go back to the house and we're going to sit these down and talk about it. But so far on the water, I am preferring the new Metanium over the 2015, of course. But let's go into the house. Let's go back and let's sit down and let's talk about details and let's, let's talk about more, more about specs and get a good weight and a fair comparison and a close up of the two. All right, everyone. So we are off the water and back home. And uh, as you can see, you were able to kind of see both of the Metanium DCs in action. Um, a couple of disclaimers I like to always add is that I'm not getting paid by Shimano to do any of this. Both reels are funded by me, owned by me, and um, I'm not getting paid to do anything. All of the stuff actually on this channel have all been self-funded. So I um, want to give you guys my honest opinion about the 2015 Metanium compared to the 24 Metanium because that is the one of the be, the biggest questions uh, that i have today so um, obviously you guys have seen some recent fish catches on the 2024 metanium um so if you guys haven't seen it yet go ahead and like that video and go watch that video um but we're going to talk about these two head to head because that is the question that i've gotten how do i like the 2015 metanium dc compared to the 2020 metanium dc so um, let's talk about the big noticeable differences. Um, the first thing is, of course, the size of the two reels. Um, the 2015 Metanium is heavier, it is a little wider, and um, this is a great palming reel. Um, the 2015 is an awesome palming reel, but the 2024 is just a little bit better in terms of the, the weight, the palm ability is just not as wide. It's not as tall either. And uh, it just palms a lot better here. Another key difference is that this spool on the 2015 carries a lot more line uh, because this is a 70 size and this is a um, basically a, uh, a normal spool 150. So these are basically just normal size spools whereas the Shimano Metanium 2024 DC is uh, 70 size. This is the HG, this is the XG, so 71 gear ratio versus the 8 to 1 gear ratio. The other noticeable difference too, of course, is the braking system. Um, it does feature the DC, however, um, the 2015, it, only, it features um, only external dials. So, uh, let's open it up and take a look at the inside really quickly. 
and you can see the big difference of the internals here. Get the side plate off. And so this is the side plate inside of the 2015 Mutanium DC. And so no internal adjustments, as you can tell. And all the, all the adjustments are going to be external. So we have the open one for the least amount of brick setting. And it goes all the way up to four. Once you get to four, it goes to A for automatic. So we've got the different ones there. I like it on two. Two is kind of the sweet spot for me if I'm throwing three years to a half ounce. Um, and whereas the 2024 Metanium DC, all of the adjustments are external. So you have more adjustments and they're also on the outside versus on the inside. So let's open it up real quick here. And you can look at the noticeable difference on the inside. The internals there. And you can notice that it has the braid types here and then also the minimum to maximum amount. So that's how you can fine tune this reel. So those are the adjustments that you have on the external. Um, and so let's get a weight on it because I think that's super important here when it comes to these two reels. All right, so let's get a weight on the 2015 Metanium DC. 206 grams. That's fully spooled versus 188. So almost a whole 20 grams difference when it comes to the weight of the 2015 Metane MDC, 207 now, to 188. So that is the big difference when it comes to weight. So the Metanium, the 2024 Metanium is a whole almost 20 ounces lighter than the 2015 one. And that isn't necessarily a good thing or bad thing. I like it when it's more light, uh, lighter, I guess, sorry, not more light. It's lighter because the rods, it just pairs better with the rods um, that I have. And so um, I really like the new Metanium when it comes to the weight. It just pairs a lot better, especially with the Poison Adrena. Um, and, um, but it's just really, you know, again, really up to you, but Shimano does a really good job at keeping it lightweight, but also making it quality here. They didn't go cheap on anything. This is a really good build. Um, a lot of people that have commented on this reel have said that they've had some issues with it. I haven't had, to be honest, a single lick of any issues at all with it. Um, so let's see here comparing, you know, the two, again, just a lot wider when it comes to the 2020. Uh, the 2015 maintain MDC there and um, you know different knobs of course you know then the 2024 handle width is pretty much the same that hasn't really changed the size of the grips are pretty much similar to as well which I like I'm not a fan of very very small grips um, kind of like some of the Steez, if you've seen in the past, they're really, really small grips. I have bigger hands. Guy, keep in mind, I'm 6'1". And so I like actually having um, not oversized handles, but just big enough where my thumb can actually get on here without having any problems. Um, and these, obviously, are really, really good. I really, really, really like these. So um, let me see what the other big thing is. So, I mean, obviously in the video you've seen a uh, comparison. Performance-wise, I think they perform very similar. I don't think that one outcasts the other. Um, but what I will tell you is that this is silky smooth. The 2024 is just slick, super smooth, very, very quiet, which I like. The, 2020, uh, the 2015, a little bit louder. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you do hear more out of this. You do hear more of the, you know, more of the gears versus the 2024. You know, it's like really, really quiet. So big difference there. Um, nine year difference. Um, and like I said, in the nine years, there hasn't been that much of a total performance difference. I think they're pretty much identical or very, very similar. But the adjustabilities you get with this is just a tad bit better. You get more, you know, um, adjustability when it comes to your line type and also your braking. You have five different settings 
versus here you typically only have four and then you have the A for automatic. So you only have technically five different settings and here you have a multitude. So there's a big difference when it comes to adjustability and the weight and you have here, which is just a solid wheel too as well. So big question everyone's been asking is, you know, what is there a really big difference when it comes to the two reels? Um, in terms of performance, like I said earlier, not really. It's really, really similar, but if you want easier, you want lighter, you want uh, more adjustability, the, 24, the 2024 Metanium is gonna be your go-to uh, real option. And uh, they retail, you know, both at $500, so it's not like they up the price in the uh, the new one, which is great, unlike uh, Daiwa. Uh, <laughs> they've been up in their price. So kudos to Shimano for keeping it at the same price. Uh, I totally appreciate it. Line spool, um, like I mentioned a little earlier, um, that hasn't been an issue at all. Even though this is a 70 size, I can still bomb things out just as far as I can uh, with the 2015 Metanium DC. So again, nothing in terms of performance. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. I mean, if there's any questions you guys wanna ask me, let me know. Um, over the last couple of days, I've gotten a lot of people talking about the 2024. Actually, I got a lot of bad feedback versus good feedback, and I'm very shocked as to why or how it's even possible. Um, however, everyone that I've talked to has that has had bad feedback have gotten one from Japan. Um, don't know if there's a difference. I cannot confirm or deny. There's nothing to say that they are different, I and mean, there's nothing that says that they're the exact same. However, when people are talking about having issues with the tension knob here and something to do with like just birds nesting all the time, that makes it a level of concern. And um, uh, again, I'm not too sure why that's happening with your reel. I have one here. This is a US model from Ami Fishing. Performs exceptional to the T, no problem whatsoever, just like any other Shimano product. So um, again, can't say they're the same or different, but if you don't wanna risk it, just buy a US model, wait for it. Don't go cheap. Um, don't buy one from Japan for like two, was that like three forty or something, or however much it is on Japan Tackle and Digitaka, whatever that is. Um, yes, you can save some money, but you might have an issue like most of the people that have commented on my videos and talked to me about their issues. So, if you want to be safe, wait for the U.S. model. Pick one up uh, from the U.S. retailer because that way you're not risking it. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video um, and if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like and subscribe I would totally appreciate the uh, support here guys. It does help fund the channel for future projects um, And um, I totally appreciate everyone and uh, we'll make sure that we see you guys on the next video